If you like having friends over on Sunday to watch the game, I've got the ultimate comfort food for you. Chicken chili with a personalized fixin's bar that everyone will love. So stick around on this episode of Cook This. Hey guys, I'm Shireen. Today I'm making chicken chili. So this is great on a Sunday. Really, you could do this any night of the week. And Coco hears, hears me saying the word chicken, so she's crying. It's her number one favorite food. So I have some chicken tenders. So you just wanna dice the chicken tenders. I'm gonna saute these in my pot with a little bit of oil, and then I also have some ground chicken. So it's two, two different textures of chicken. So. We're adding a little bit of a healthier twist, but I think it's a really great flavor. You could totally use beef. You could totally use turkey. Make it your own. And then I'm just gonna season this with salt and pepper. Get this nice and brown, and I'm gonna chop up my onion, jalapeno, which I'm gonna take some of those seeds out. Actually, you know, with this fixin's bar, people can spice it up the way they like it. So I'll keep it a little muted, but I want that flavor from the jalapeno. And this is all just gonna build flavor and make this chili awesome. And you can totally do this in your crock pot as well. So my chicken is already brown. So the beauty of having the ground beef and those chicken tenders diced is you have chunks and you have some smaller pieces too. So you get a little bit and a lot of everything. So now I just wanna add my onions, jalapeno and garlic and saute that for three minutes. Just until it's nice and tender. All right, now to add the spice blend. So I made these spices, uh, you know, from my own cupboard. You don't have to buy a packet. It's more, it's better, it's more flavorful, it's more bold, and it's all spices, no preservatives. So you just wanna sort of toast it a little bit first, in with the chicken. If you feel it's a little dry, it's okay to add a little oil. Then I'm gonna add some tomato paste. So that's gonna give a nice concentrated tomato flavor and a really, delicious depth to this chili. So a good amount. And then, just so the tomato paste doesn't burn, you wanna add a little bit of oil so that way it doesn't burn. So now we just wanna caramelize this. Now for our diced tomatoes. White beans, I like to use the small white beans. And chicken stock. So use your favorite chicken stock, one you love. We're gonna bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer until all the flavors come together and it really builds good chili eating. While the chili is cooking, now I'm just gonna get all my fixins together. So all my ingredients, this is making a really festive bar for anyone and everyone to sort of customize it themselves. If you like it cheesy, load up the cheese. If your guests like it spicy, they can add more hot sauce. I have some jalapenos, sliced jalapenos on there. So right now, I just cut my limes into wedges. I love freshly squeezed lime on pretty much everything. And now I have some green onions. So I'm gonna slice up my green onions. I have some sour cream, some shredded cheese, and then, of course, I can't forget cilantro, another one of my favorite. No chili is complete without it. Although I know people, some people don't love it, but that's okay. That's why they get to customize it the way they want. All right, so here we go. So here's your little bar. Set it up the way you like. In your dining room table, your kitchen table, make it super casual. The great part is you can have your chili cooking on the stove or in your slow cooker. And when it's done, everyone can help themselves. All right, chili is looking good. It's all cooked, ready to go. Who's that? Come in. Hey, how are you doing, Shereen? <laughs> Chuck, it's Chuck from Eat This. 
<laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You know, I heard you were making a chicken chili uh, today. And my man's here to eat uh, some of my chili. That's my job. I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I know you're a good cook. How I did know. you know? Could you smell it? I, Could you smell it? If I'm into chili, <laughs> and if there's chili within a 20 mile radius, I'm gonna track it down, and I could smell it. Well, you're gonna let me try it. I hope. I'm totally gonna let you try it, uh -huh. but most importantly, so I've set up a little fixins bar. So oh, this yeah? is how I like to set this up. When my family comes over, my friends come over, we have the game, it's Sunday, it's comfort. Oh. Let everybody customize it to the way they like. I like it. Make it spicy, make it cheesy, do whatever you want. A little yeah. freshly squeezed lime, some cilantro, spice it up even more. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, come on. You Please. traveled over here to see me? You're gonna let me try it? Poop it up. I need a spoon. Well, okay, here's the question. Yeah. You, do you have a big mouth or a little mouth? <laughs> it goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> big mouth. But I'm not using it yet because okay. I really should, be, I, I like a little cheese. Okay. I do like a little cheese. And don't be afraid, you can use your fingers. I was being polite with the okay. spoon. Just, and, I'm just put a little cheese. And, and Coco, Coco is like all over him. Yeah. Anytime I have someone. I have someone, a new friend. I know. Yeah, that's all right. And so all then right. uh, I, I do like it spicy. So let's add. All right, but you know, go for it. A little bit of jalapeno. Why you gotta, not? You gotta man size it up. A little dollop of sour cream. Okay. And a squeeze of lime. I'm just not a green onion person. It's, it's just okay, and that's why all the fixings are here. You pick what you want. Exactly, yeah. it makes it personal, have yeah. fun. Squeeze of lime. Absolutely. That's, I love lime on so many me things. Me too. And that's it, and then I'm, I'm digging so, in. I'm so glad you came to join me. I'm so glad you're making chili. <laughs> I wouldn't miss this. Mm. That chicken, I love how it just takes all those flavors. What do you use in there for, for seasoning? I have a, a spice mix that mm -hmm. when our folks go to the newspaper's website, they'll see all the spices that you can mm -hmm. mix together. Just pumps it up a little bit, but it gives it that clean flavor with the chicken. Yeah, it's delicious. And good. I'm going to go to the site. I'm going to make this for sure. You should. That's good. Why don't you keep talking? I'll keep eating. <laughs> Listen, if you haven't met Chuck yet, go to our newspaper's website. Look up Eat This. Check out his shows. He'll show you all the different foodie finds, great mm -hmm. restaurants, and uh but you gotta check out this recipe too. Go to our newspaper's website. Check out this recipe, make it, enjoy it with your family and friends. Comfort food, Sunday, having fun with your family at the game. And for more of my fresh and easy recipes, go to tweetneats.com. Thanks for, thanks nice for joining me. Nice. Nice, like thanks, enjoy.